My name is Trooper Travis Smacka, Public Information Officer with the Nevada Patrol Southern Command, T-R-A-V-I-S-S-M-A-K-A. -S -S I'm here to provide you with some preliminary details of an officer-involved shooting that occurred this morning, Sunday, October 3rd at approximately 8.26 a.m. It occurred in the area of Lake Mead Boulevard near, near mile marker 11 in Clark County. The preliminary details are as follows. At approximately 7.58 a.m. this morning, the Nevada Patrol was notified of a reported rolling domestic battery in the area of Lake Mead Boulevard and Los Feliz that occurred inside a gray Toyota Corolla occupied by a female and a male. Witnesses reported seeing the male strike the female. At approximately 8.19 a.m., Nevada State Troopers located the suspect vehicle in the area of Lake Mead Boulevard and mile marker 14 in Clark County. At approximately 8.26 a.m., troopers reported the officer involved shooting. Following that, an adult male subject was transported to UMC Trauma where he succumbed to injuries sustained and was pronounced deceased. Eastbound Lake Mead Boulevard has been closed at Los Feliz Street while the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department's force investigation team conducts their investigation. I remind everyone that we are very early into the investigation and all the details that I have provided are preliminary and we will have more details as they become available. Missing in there, didn't hear if the suspect produced a handgun at any point. It's so early in the investigation, I don't have those details yet. Any idea what, what led to the, to the shooting? At this time, I don't have those details other than um, the tr trooper made contact and uh, shooting occurred. Do you have any idea how long the road will be closed for? It's going to be closed for several hours while the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department's force investigation team conducts a thorough investigation. Do you know the relationship between the man and the woman? Not at this time, but I do know that there was a male and a female inside the vehicle. Like I said, I, I expect in another 72 hours we'll have a lot more details. Again, the age of the suspect? Um, I, I, just know it, I just know it's a male adult. And again, you're summoned to this because it's a matter of, of public safety, right? So yes. it's for the troopers are acting by being requested by the public. Yes, yes, uh, they, they were responding to a domestic battery that was occurring within the confines of a motor vehicle. How's she doing? How's she doing? I, I will be able to give you that information later. I don't have those details either. I, I apologize for that. Like I said, we're very early in the investigation and I've only, received very minute details at this time. You've seen a lot of cars going back and forth. How many officers have responded? Between the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department and the Nevada Health Patrol and the Nevada D Division of Investigations, um, our Office of Professional Responsibility, I would say there could be um, approximately, at most, pro probably like two dozen sworn officers up there doing the different facets of the investigation that they're responsible for. And uh, can you just tell us if there's further updates expected today and what will be the next, what's up next here today? I foresee that we'll have a lot more information coming after 72 hours when we're briefed by the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department on all the details and their findings. And we'll definitely be sharing that information as soon as we can when we receive it. Thank you. Thank you for your time today.